I understand that there are a lot of doctors and nurses out there that listen to me talk and they go, okay, this guy wants to uh, dominate the health insurance business and he wants to dominate the healthcare business because he wants to use big data to um, solve healthcare problems, which includes um, solving the problem of healthcare getting really expensive. And that means if you're a doctor that um, you're concerned about your job, about still being able to make money. And what I'll say is number one, it's going to take a long time to get there. And number two, um, you're going to really enjoy having an AI doctor to help you someday. And number three, I don't think you understand how important it is for us to start consolidating healthcare data if we want to make progress in the medical research field. Uh, I, I feel like no one fully appreciates the power of data in, in it for, to, to change how the medical field works. And if I'm president, I'm going to go over to IBM and I'm going to say how much for Watson and how much for the people that have worked on Watson. And, um, or I'm going to say, Hey, can we partner with you? Because we can do a partnership between the government and IBM. And I want to get so much medical care, med medical data. Um, and I want to really work on those forms that doctors fill out for, um, like checking up on patients. So I want to partner with China. And because China has 1.5 billion people, we only have, we have less than 400 million. So um, if we can partner with China and get their medical care data and we share our data and we also kind of share some of our resources, we go, hey, you guys can program with us. We're not afraid to work with you on a project like this because we think that um, the government is supposed to help people, help preserve people's life, liberty and property, which includes life, which includes their health which includes the way that they're like, if you're unhealthy, you don't, you're not free. Like if, if I would, if I couldn't walk, I couldn't um, go on hikes and I would know I would be in, in prison. Even if I live, even though I live in a really nice house. And so what I'm saying is if, when we help people's health, we help their, their, their life and Liberty and their ability to have property, their ability to work. And, and, and we make people more productive. And that's why I think we should all be for, um, advances in the healthcare industry. And if we're for advances in the healthcare industry, then we should be for, um, making data available to the right people, um, making, um, like, those, those checklists that, that you, that cancer doctors put together available to other cancer doctors and standardizing those forms so that uh, everyone's asking the same questions so that we get the, the answers we need. And we, um, can use that data to determine, uh, to, 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 we can use that data in order to help us make decisions. Um, uh, but it's more than that because I'm talking about like taking people's imaging, like from their MRIs and stuff like that and using that to do machine learning on and trying to get, make a computer that can um, analyze M MRIs. And my opinion is that um, we're gonna need a lot of data for that, but I don't know, some people might not agree with me. All right, so um, Trump against me in a real debate would be absolute dominance and that means that I'm a better person to have as president because I understand, it's not that I'm smarter, it's that I understand the modern world better because I understand technology, because I'm a programmer, because when I go and learn, learn, learn to use Adobe, um, whatever, I understand what they're talking about from the programming side so it's easy for me to learn it because I understand the vocabulary. Um, Trump doesn't understand the vocabulary and uh, I know I should feel bad about him having COVID-19, Personally, I think that Trump is a bad person and um, I, I'm, I'm, you're not going to convince me that I should care. I'm sorry.